So my name's Benny, I own and run BYP Racing and this is our workshop car, uh, 2001 Honda Integra Type R. Uh, we've owned this car for about 10, 12 years now and um, it's been our flagship car in the time tack world. Um, it's set a few records and um, yeah, over the last couple of years we've been developing it. Do a quick tour around the car and I'll show you what's, um, what the car has and what's included. So um, obviously it's not running the standard engine anymore. A Honda K-Series power plant. Runs a 2.4 litre um, with a Rotrex supercharger. And it's at the moment we've turned it down just to do laps around Easter Creek. So it's approximately about 300, 320 kilos to the wheels. Um, when it's time for competition, we'll probably have a bit over 400 kilowatts. Um, still quite, quite a basic package. So it's got rods, pistons on the bottom end and a standard head for the time being. Um, Rotrek Supercharger is C38R, the new version. So once we sort out all the pulley setup, we'll turn it up and gear it for its maximum boost pressure, around 26 pounds of boost. In terms of um, piping, we've just got three inch piping through a plasma main cooler, uh, six by three, 100 mil thick. And um, the car still runs a H-pan and synchro gearbox, uh, six speed and it's one of our V3 close ratio gears. So that's been working well with a um, Cusco Senna 1.5 way. But other than that, it's, it's quite a basic um, engine package, as you can see, there's not much to it. So in 2014, the car made a visit to top stage composite for the splitter, diffuser, uh, front bar, and also carbon roof. Um, to this day, we have kept the front bar and the roof and um, made a few revisions as we've gone along. Um, as the time tag rules change, this year we made the effort to uh, update our aero through our local supplier, um, our local composite guy, Greg at Sydney Composite. Um, he's actually profiled um, a new splitter, side skirts, and a rear diffuser, and remounted the wing to comply with the 2019 open class rules. Priora is one of the things that made this car so fast. Um, by its lightweight, the car is light, it's you know low 900 kilos with you know when it has 500, 550 horsepower, it's um, it needs to keep the, the, the error keeps it on the ground. Um, so over the years with many revisions we've found the balance between front and rear. It's finding that balance between having the right amount of front aero to the rear. No point having a, a, uh, a big splitter and having a small rear wing in the car. Even though it's front wheel, rear wheel, all wheel, you've got to have, have that balance for aero. So even though it's front wheel driven, it's got a decent sized wing to balance the front downforce of the car. Um, so over the years we've been running um, uh, weed sports. So this is the latest edition, the TC105X. We used to be running the N. Um, so the front are 18 by 11, and we're running 295, 35, 18 Yokohama tires. Um, the rear is a staggered set. So the front runs 18 inch, and the rear we run 17 on a 235, 45, 17 on a 17, 9.5 rim. Um, in terms of brakes, the rear is completely standard from factory um, and we've gone to the extra effort of drilling out the rotors for a bit of weight reduction and the front is a Jay's Racing, I believe, 6 pot 330mm brake kit. So in terms of suspension, the car runs off the shelf TN Super Racings. We've had this suspension on the car since you know, 2010, so it's been with the car since it's been built. Um, it's got uh, motorsport ASR sway bar in the rear and spherical bush all around. But bar that, um, it still runs standard control arms, standard cross member, standard trailing arm, standard pickup points. Interior is quite um, bare and basic because we only do time attack. We don't need a lot of things. Um, so basically, we run a Honda based ECU, which we run on a lot of cars and it works, it does the job fine. We also got a traction control system by Honda um, a couple of years ago when we did hill climb. It was quite useful to launch, um, use that system to launch um, and get away. Different shifter setup, so that's an FD Civic base with a hybrid racing shifter assembly. 
So the car's got a full welding roll cage, um, tie in front to rear, pro moly. Um, fuel system is located behind this box and it runs a 12 litre fuel cell. Because we only do time tack, tyres are really good for like two laps. So at least agree we'll get an hour lap, two hot laps in an in lap. Um, another thing to note on the interior is we still run the factory pedal assembly. So pedal, factory clutch pedal, brake pedal and accelerator pedal. So. Um, so we got this wrap probably four years ago by Jeremy our Pro Wrap. We needed an update on our wrap and I think it, it profiles our business quite well uh, against uh, the red and the, um, the, the light grey. So the standard boot weighs about 35 kilos with glass and metal. So this carbon piece, um, Sydney Composite uh, molded, it's three kilos. So we dropped the 30 something kilos. Plus it looks nice. And then um, the wing is chassis mounted. So if you look through the car, you'll see the, the wing brackets coming down to the body. So they just offer, offer much better rigidity. Um, and then the wing stand, these are carbon upright wing stands that we um, got done this year uh, with um, the guys at Cine Composite. So that's all rigid and works really well. Um, new diffuser they made this year. So this is one of the first car that they got on. Um, they re diffuser up. That, so that's set a certain angle and these are CFD and flow tested. Besides that, the side, People might think this is a flat floor, but it's just a side. Based on overclass rule, we can build a side skirt to our chassis rail. Fortunately for our car, our chassis rail is close to the exhaust, which is in the middle of the car. So it's got a decent sized piece. Yeah, so we plan to, cause we're so close to East Creek, our plan is to get out there more often and do a couple changes, do a track day, test it, make sure it works well. Um, so the goal of this car since we started, you know, obviously having the business and building these cars was to keep, keep it um, to relate to our customers and our customer base. So um, besides the carbon body and the aero and stuff like that, if you break it down, the car is quite basic. So in doing that, you know, people wouldn't need to spend a bomb or, you know, six figures to build a car like this and, and still be competitive in what they want to do.